Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Plustech ePhoto Z300 uh, scanner. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of this on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So, this is a photo scanner. Um, it's not an automatic one. Um, you can't just stick a stack in, but you can stick one in at a time. And it advertises it does photos, receipts, business cards, tickets, and documents. And it works with Mac and Windows. I don't know if it would work with Linux or not. Uh, maybe I'll test that in a future video. So here it talks about scanning. Uh, you scan face down and calibrate. It comes with a cleaning cloth, power adapter, USB cable, scanner, quick guide, calibration seat, and DVD. I like that this doesn't come with that styrofoam that flakes off. That stuff's messy. So let's look in this box here. So here we have the power adapter. Looks like this pops off so you can... Uh... Yeah, and it does do 240 volts, but it doesn't have the uh, adapter for that. So it says 100 to 240 volts, and it says 0.6 amps. Output is 24 volts at 0.75 amps. Comes with a USB cable like you'd find on any printer or scanner. And here we have the cleaning cloth, the DVD, although a lot of computers don't have DVDs, so I imagine you can download this uh, software on the internet. has a sheet about the uh, warranty. Here's a quick start guide. And this would be the calibration page. And that comes in kind of like this cardboard kind of envelope. An interesting thing I just noticed here is it has this protective envelope and you can fold this envelope over but the calibration sheet sticks out beyond where you can fold it, so you can't really fold that over to store it, which isn't a big problem. It's just kind of funny that that works out like that. So here's the scanner itself. It's got a little slot here, and there's a sensor in here, so when you stick the photo in, it should uh, start pulling it in. Have a little power switch on the bottom. We have the input for the USB and the power. And we have four rubber feet. Well, it's actually, it looks very simple. So that's all I'm going to get into with this video. On my next video, I'll be setting this up and doing a test to uh, see if we can scan some photos. So if you have any questions up to this point, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.